In this tutorial, we are going to mimic laptops' behavior in real life. To do so, we will learn the function of several events such as sequence ended, delay, and node triggered events. For the responses, we will be using play sequence response and apply scene state response. For example, I want the laptop to open, then turn its screen on once I click on it inside the VR viewer. Let's begin. Select Node Triggered Event. Then assign the MacBook. And press here. Then select Play Sequence Response. Go to Sequence tab. We have created previously a sequence for opening the laptop. To learn more about sequences, check out the tutorial in the description. Then drag and drop the laptop opening sequence into the Training Builder to play it inside VR Viewer. Connect the ports together. Now select Sequence Ended Event. Connect it to the previously dropped sequence, which is Laptop Opening Sequence. Then select Apply Scene State. Go to the Scene States Library. Again, we have created previously two scene states for the screen. To learn more about the scene states, check out the tutorial in the description. The first one is Screen Off, and it's the default mode for the MacBook. The second one is Screen On, which we will be using for the Apply Scene State response. Drag the Screen On Scene State into the Training Builder. Connect the ports together. By doing this, the screen will turn on immediately before opening the MacBook. In order to make it more realistic, we will use the Delay event to delay turning the screen on. Select Delay from the Events section. Type in the duration in seconds. Then we put in between Sequence Ended Event and Apply Scene State Response. Finally, connect the blocks together. So this flow means, when the MacBook is triggered, run the Laptop Opening Sequence. Once the sequence is ended, wait for a little bit, then turn on the screen by applying its scene state. Let's see if our flow is working properly. Go to the Viewer menu, select Show in Viewer. See you at our next video!